Hello po, nagbabalik po ang Teacher Chris TV para i-discuss ang National Orientation Guidelines on the Basic Education Enrollment for School Year 2020 to 2021. So, it was posted last May 27, 2020. So, bago natin ipagpatuloy ang ang orientation para sa enrollment guidelines, huwag natin kalimutan mag-subscribe sa ating blog na Teacher Chris TV at i-hit ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga videos. Alright. So, for nas national orientation, these are the objectives. To ensure clear and common understanding of enrollment Guidelines for school year 2020 to 2021 in light of national health emergency due to COVID-19. Ensure adherence of the enrollment guidelines to the minimum health and safety standards promulgated by IATF. Address arising issues and challenges on the conduct of enrollment under national health emergency. So these are the house norms. Kindly keep your audio on mute while somebody is speaking. For those who want to speak, kindly write ME in the chat box. All right. So these are the house rules. So ito na yung guidelines on the basic education enrollment for school year 2020, 2021 in light of the COVID-19. National Public Health Emergency Please note DepEd is still working to secure direct clarification on statement of the President regarding opening of classes in addition to the clarifications made by Presidential Spokesperson Secretary Harry Roque For the background, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the school year will open on August 24, 2020. The LCP outlines various modalities in delivering basic education for the school year. DepEd seeks to ensure that, that learners are enrolled in the system and map their context to provide appropriate learning and interventions. However, we need to modify enrollment procedures taking into consideration on the public health situation. So here is the enrollment procedures. Core instructions. Enrollment for school year 2020-2021 shall primarily be administered remotely. The first two weeks shall completely be remote enrollment where there will absolutely be no face-to-face. Submissions of accomplished LESF shall be done remotely through emails, messengers, and other means of electronic submission. Physical submission of LESF to school or barangay hall shall be the last option and shall only be done by parents or guardians on the third week of enrollment period. Enrollment and Learner Survey Enrollment, registration of learners for the school year, collection of basic profile of every learner, learning learner mapping survey, gather information on household, capacity to access various modalities, example, available gadgets, possible facilitators, and others. So, the summary of, of enrollment procedures Teacher-led enrollment for learners already in the system, teachers will contact their students from the previous year and encode survey information using LIS. Enrollment headlines, enrollment focal persons will be designated to receive calls and queries from parents of incoming learners for kindergarten, transferees, balik-aral, and ALS learners. Means of collecting enrollment and survey data through phone call, through text messaging, or online submission. 
physical enrollment. Any form of physical contact will be the last option for all SDOs in school. Distribution of printed LESF shall be coordinated to LGU. If parents guardian are not able to submit enrollment data remotely, schools in close coordination, coordination with LGU shall set up physical platforms. All physical conduct shall be in strict compliance with the minimum health and safe standards. Instruction to submit LESF shall be announced through multimedia platforms. Example, radio, TV, social media. Instruction to parents, guardians, and learners. So, for grades 1 to 12, parents of becoming grades 1 to 12, learners will be contacted by their previous advisors from, for remote enrollment. However, to expedite the process, parents, guardians may also reach out to their child's advisor for the enrollment through the contact numbers published by the school. Physical presence of parents or guardian in school for enrollment shall be the last option and shall only be allowed on the third week of June with strict adherence to minimum health and safety standards. So the for incoming kinder learners, parents of incoming kindergarten learners shall contact the school to communicate their intent to enroll via digital or physical enrollment platforms established in the schools and barangay halls. Instruction to parents, learners. For transferees, learners planning to transfer from one school, the originating school to another, the receiving school, shall directly contact the receiving school through its published enrollment contact details. For balik aral enrollees, all balik aral enrollees shall directly contact preferred schools, receiving school shall receiving school shall register on enrollees enrollment and survey data. For ALS learners, ALS enrollees may communicate their intent to enroll via digital or physical enrollment platforms established by school and barangays with community learning center. <coughs> Protocol for modified general enrollment. Major stage. Stage 1, pre-data collection, 2, data collection, and pre-data retrieval. Pre-data collection, so how do we ensure the enrollment guidelines and enrollment forms are widely disseminated, clearly communicated, and understood. So here is the pre-data collection. Designate teachers to facilitate remote enrollment and appoint enrollment focal person. Stage 1, pre-data collection, establish digital and physical enrollment platforms. Defer deadlines for submission of documentary requirements. Disseminate information on enrollment procedures and encourage stakeholder <coughs> encourage stakeholder participation. <laughs> Stage two data collection. How do we ensure that all potential enrollees are able to submit LESF in the safest way possible? So, is data collection through class advisors and through the initiative of parents or guardians. Through hotlines, social media, and other online messaging platforms. Electronic LESF template. LIS encoding. Stage 3, Data Retrieval. 
How do we ensure that LESF data will inform policy and program design and implementation? Data Retrieval Central Office, Regional and Division Offices, Schools, Forms, LESF, or Learner Enrollment and Survey Form, Electronic Learner Enrollment and Survey Form Template, so these forms can these forms can be downloaded in the learner's information system or what do we call LIS under the download section of the support tab. So this is the additional data requirements. Functions and responsibilities. So central office regional office schools division office school we have data privacy implementation plan information materials so dito po nagtatapos ang ating guidelines on enrollment maraming maraming salamat po Huwag po natin kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel na Teachers Chris TV at i-hit ang notification bell para updated kayo lagi sa ating mga videos. Maraming maraming salamat po.